The HLA B27 gene, how important is it to be positive or negative? Hi, my name is Sam. In this video, I want to talk about the HLA B27 gene, also known as the human leukocyte antigen B27 uh, gene. What does it mean to be positive or negative? A quick disclaimer, I'm not a doctor or a medical professional. Uh, everything that I talked about or experience that I am experiencing and symptoms that I'm currently experiencing or in the past. If you have any uh, medical conditions or medical questions, please refer that to your doctors and uh, you know, pharmacists for evaluation. Thank you. The HLA B27 gene or antigen is found on the white blood cell. Its job is to fight infections or inflammations. So if you are tested positive with this particular gene, there is a possibility that you have an autoimmune disease or an inflammatory disease. Not always, but possible. But having this particular gene, the HLA B27 positive, does it always mean a person will always have some kind of uh, destructive autoimmune disease? Does it always mean that a person would develop these arthritis and have bone issues um, in the future, sometimes in their life or something in the future? Uh, not quite. Not everybody who has those particular genes will actually develop conditions. But however, uh, if you are tested positive with this particular genes, there is more of a likely chance that you are having some kind of autoimmune uh, disease that causes inflammation in your body. It's possible that can harm, uh, you know, your body, your joints, or spines, or whatever the condition uh, it might be. Now, according to uh, what I was looking at at the Arthritis Foundation, um, they were saying there's a lot of white people, uh, basically in the uh, European countries, a lot of these people also have the HOA B27 uh, genes in, in the body. So they, a lot of people are actually tested um, positive in there. But does not mean that, you know, all of these people have conditions? Um, I don't believe so. If that's the case, then there will be a lot of uh, really sick people around, right? Now, at the same time, uh, if you are tested negative, does that mean you are free of these conditions? Um, and from looking at the same particular uh, information on the website um, with the authorities.org uh, foundation, uh, it's not. They said most of the, uh, many of the Japanese people are hardly even tested with this particular gene. But there are people with ankylosing spondylitis and arthritis all around the world. Uh, Japan is now no exceptions. So in Japan, they don't really use this as a marker to label people who has these inflama inflammatory disease, but rather they use some other genes. There's many other uh, blood tests that can actually tell if a person has inflammation in the body or not. Now also, you know, I been on a lot of the social media groups with, um, you know, ankylosing spondylitis, arthritis, all these groups from uh, Facebook, Red X, uh, YouTube. Um, there are many people that's been talking about, you know, they're waiting for tests for this particular HOA B27. They are talking about they're uh, being positive. Uh, they're talking about they're having um, symptoms with the uh, back pain, joint pain, and any other uh, pains on their body, knees, or uh, hands, and all that stuff. Uh, however, there's also a group of people who also are tested negative, but at the same time, they also do have these particular symptoms as well, and some of their uh, spines and joints are actually pretty uh, damaged by the, the disease, but when they're tested negative, 
uh, doctors are a little bit reluctant to give them the correct treatment that can slow down the uh, progression. Now, as for myself, um, I mentioned this in other videos before. Now, my condition, I started having pain when I was roughly about 13 years old, and I did not have pain starting with my spine. I actually had pain starting with both hips, the left hip and the right hip. Uh, I don't remember which one, but uh, in my teens, it was pretty painful. Now, since I was a teen, I, you know, when I pain developed, I went to see my regular doctor uh, who started off with just uh, painkillers, uh, non-steroid and inflammatory drugs, those simple ones um, like aspirins and things like that. But over many visits, uh, you know, he knew there was something wrong. Uh, he referred me to Children's Hospital where they actually diagnosed me with uh, junior arthritis and still at that time no tested for this uh, particular gene yet. Um, you know, from Children's Hospital when they diagnosed me with junior arthritis, they started, you know, drugs uh, a little bit more heavier on the non-steroid and the inflammatory drugs, uh, naproxens and other types of uh, drugs of that uh, in the same category. Um, as the year goes on, uh, more pain and more damages, um, you know, they, it, I went from juvenile to uh, rheumatoid arthritis. And from there, again, still more, uh, more, more of the uh, arthritis drug, if you, uh, if you will. But it, it reduces some of the pain, but it doesn't, uh, it doesn't slow down or stop the progression. So it's not until, you know, when I was in my early 20s and in the adulthood, um, I went to see a regular uh, rheumatologist. And that's when he did a full body uh, x-ray. And then he told me that there's quite a lot of damage on my hips. Um, and I do have a lot of pain at that time. And uh, my spine has uh, shown some inflammations. And that's when he said, that's when he actually mentioned that I, I have an autoimmune disease. This is without uh, testing for the HLA B27 gene. So he already mentioned to me that I have the autoimmune disease without this particular marker. And I, 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 I know some doctors are actually quite reluctant to start people with the, you know, the drugs or, or give them a correct treatment without the, the positive, uh, the posit positivities on the on the HLA B twenty seven gene, but if you don't start these treatments, uh, and I know for for the first hand, if you don't st start these treatments early, um, ultimately the disease progresses uh, quite fast, and the damage can be done uh, actually quite severe. Um, I did end up uh, having both hips uh, replaced because my uh, joints were so badly damaged, it was irreversible. Uh, doctors, uh, my rheumatologist, uh, put me on um, a biologics right after he said I have an autoimmune disease, but it was too late to 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 uh, to fix my uh, my hips. It's already been damaged, so my only option was to get it replaced. Otherwise, I was not able to walk. So here are just a few conversations that, you know, from the, from the social media that people said they are positive or negative. And more people are talking about it in different uh, forums. I, I do think that some doctors actually on, rely on this way too much. Um, my uh, suggestion with my experience is... Uh, you do need to talk to your doctor, work with your doctor, and make sure you know they get at least X-rays or CTs or you know all your pains. And if they see anything, even though without the marker, uh, that's there. Um, get treatment. I uh, don't hope that anybody uh, would have this particular disease. It's very bad. It, it could very well be um, 
a, a twisted back or, you know, somebody who just uh, had a fall or, or you know, uh, some people go skiing and you fall or biking and fall, uh, you would have a bunch of uh, pain, uh, uh, back pains and all that. I, I would just hope that it would just be some sort of a twisted back for, for a lot of people or, you know, just... Um, you step on a wrong step and kind of hurt your uh, your your hips or, or knee and it'll be fixed in the next uh, couple of weeks but hopefully you know those are uh, the condition of, for everybody else but um but if you are having constant pain uh and even if you tested negative for the hoa um, b27 gene um i would talk to the doctor and start getting treatment sooner because the sooner you get um, on these treatments to uh, slow down the uh, the progressions the less damage is going to get on your body and when the damages are, are done like I said it's irreversible so hopefully uh, you can talk to your doctor about getting these treatments sooner uh, that's for the people who you know believe that they have this uh, autoimmune uh, condition but again, not everybody who uh, tested positive would be um, would have these conditions. You're just more uh, susceptible to it. There might be a possibility that, that that you can develop these on a later age. I started when I was very young, so uh, there are quite a, a lot of people that actually their uh, autoimmune disease did not start till you know their fifties, sixties, or seventies. So. Uh, there's no there's no saying and you know besides the CTs and MRIs there's, like I said there's other blood tests like the sit rate can tell you how much inflammation you have on your body uh, the white blood cell white blood count uh, if it's high then generally it means there's an infection or some kind of uh, inflammation so uh, doctors should uh, really talk to the doctor get some blood works or pictures, imaging. Uh, and again, not, not all the uh, autoimmune uh, disease and not everybody's a bill equal. Um, some conditions are very light. You can probably make some diet change, uh, cut the carb, cut the processed food, cut the sugars, and you can probably derail the, uh, the, the inflammations. Uh, but conditions like me, Probably I'm on the more severe side with a much higher level of autoimmune disease. And even I'm on biologics, I would suppress it to a certain level, not even to the level that it's supposed to be low. It's still probably be high, but it was so high that it's so overactive that, uh, you know, suppressing it will still be uh, on the high side. You know, I mentioned it many times on other videos, you know, like vitamin Ds, calciums, would help with the bones and I would do a lot more exercise uh, if I knew back in the days um, I'm kind of like too young and too naive to, to know this particular condition and think that it's over with by you know a couple of weeks take some pills and it's done it's not so uh, exercise uh, I, I am doing a lot of exercise nowadays at least walking a couple miles a day if weather allowed today it's a little rainy couldn't do it um, I bike when I get a chance uh, short hikes uh you can see some of my uh, videos uh, you have done uh short hikes it's very productive um if you can do swimming um tai chi yoga anything for stretching would help greatly with your uh, conditions uh there's a lot of people talking about aloe vera recently i think aloe vera can reduce its inflammations and do a lot of good for the body and you know i i it I, I don't know. There's a lot of supplement out there that can possibly uh, reduce this inflammation if the, your condition is not really uh, severe. But a lot of these uh, I have tried. Um, doesn't really work for me that much. But I, I, I wouldn't say it doesn't. I still take vitamin Ds right now just to prevent any more progressions. Uh, it, it helps. I take vitamin Ds, uh, calciums, and other stuff. You know, it, it Anything would help. So, you know, this particular video, I just wanted to kind of go over this particular HLA-B27 genes. Is it really important for people to say, 
um, they're not going to get treatment until they test a positive or or they test a negative having you know these particular symptoms and it is doctors really uh, reluctant to treat you when you are obviously having you know the pain and the symptoms um, you probably need to talk to your doctors and hopefully get it treated sooner than later uh, and I hope everybody's condition is just mild and just kind of you know after a while just wing it and you're good to go um, but hopefully it, that's everybody else you know I'm on the other hand or I already pay my uh, pay my due with my pains over the time and I, I'm still in quite a bit of pain and um, you know with the HLA B27 uh, gene I am positive but again I, I forgot to mention that above I am positive so my rheumatologist started me on all these uh, biologics and other medications that's way before even the, the, the test came out to be positive. But then later on, you know, it, it is proven that I am positive on the HOA B27. But again, uh, you know, you got to get your treatments uh, in uh, sooner. So work with your doctors and hopefully, you know, they can get you on board sooner. And the sooner you are, again, the less damage. It is really so important to know if it's positive or negative um it it could be it could not uh you know but you you do know your own body you do know your own pains and if you are having the the pain even without the the, the test or you know being positive work with your doctor so anyway that's all for this particular video so if you like uh, my videos uh please give me a like it will help out the algorithm uh, if you like to, please subscribe. I will have more videos coming out and talking about my, my other many conditions. So hopefully, uh, if you have anything to share, leave me a message below. I'd love to hear from you. And hopefully we can all share information and knowledges and we can find uh, a, a way to, you know, uh, find the better days and live for, uh, um, pain free for another day. So anyway. Thank you again for watching. I uh, hope to see you on the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.